And back when it was first released in 2016, The Division was a divisive release. On the one hand, there were claims of a downgrade from its initial reveal trailer. On the other, it's striking how vast the Snowdrop engine's feature set actually is. Volumetric fog effects, real-time reflections, object physics, and even parallax occlusion maps help anchor this post-apocalypse Manhattan as something real and believable. The terrain isn't just a wasteland of derelict cars either. Factor in the beautiful snow particle effects and lighting, there's a vibrancy to the map that dodges the grittiness we see in most apocalyptic shooters. But it's fair to say nowhere more so on console than on Xbox One X. As of patch 1.8.1, Ubisoft Massive gives the game a res boost on X, and a suite of small but nice visual extras that makes it great 4K demo material. The game is something of a tricky one to test on the image quality front though, with temporal anti-aliasing, chromatic aberration, and a dynamic resolution in play on every console. So to help that along, I've switched chromatic aberration off in these captures, and the numbers are fascinating. Okay, so let's backtrack a bit. PS4 Pro already has its own enhanced patch to support Ultra HD TVs, though it doesn't hit the lofty heights of a native 4K. In fact, in my pixel counts, the highest number I've seen is 3200 by 1800 while indoors, with a dynamic scaler letting it flex downwards at stress points. Based on my measurements, 1800p is the upper bounds, but there is a catch. Like all console versions, the Snowdrop engine reconstructs the image while movement is static, to make it give the impression of a true 4K. Take this opening shot as an example. Every pixel on a 4K screen grab on PS4 Pro gives you a unique stair step, just like a true 3840x2160. It's convincing so long as you stay still, but once we step forward the illusion breaks. PS4 Pro's true pixel structure reveals itself here. In this case it comes in at 3072 by 1728 that's 80% on each axis, and 1728p comes up as a regular number while simply roaming the streets, which isn't bad at all. Now if you go to more intensive shootouts on PS4 Pro, you inevitably get lower results, with the absolute worst case being 2458 by 1382 or 64% on each axis. Ultimately, we're not broaching a genuine 4K while in the heat of action, and even basic areas don't hit that mark. Expect more pixel crawl and shimmer next to an X plus One X, but with that said, the temporal AA still helps PS4 Pro push a good looking picture. All of which leads us to X plus One X. This one's simpler to explain. The X patch runs with 3840x2160 as the absolute upper bounds, with dynamic res scaling in place. Making 2160p the max resolution isn't a vain pursuit either, Xbox One X genuinely hits it and holds it a majority of the time. Across 30 sample shots in stress areas, only one actually showed anything lower. It's this scene here while travelling through the opening tunnel, adjusting X to 3392x1908, or around 88% of a full 4K. Again, that's a huge leap over the dynamic 1080p on a base Xbox One, where you'd expect drops much lower than that. Okay, admittedly, that's a lot of numbers to take in, but the gist is, Xbox One X's hardware is not only up to the task for a consistent native 4K, but it comes with a few visual upgrades too. Ubisoft Massive's patch notes list three extras here, improved reflections, screen space shadows, and upgraded object details. Now I'll be honest, these really don't strike you when playing one after another, and it takes some seriously close zoom-ins to spot what's actually been changed. Compared to a base X plus one, these are all enhanced, and actually it even supersedes PS4 Pro on each setting too. Let's switch to a side-by-side -side with Pro and X plus one X then. Promises of improved reflections are lived up to in that very first scene. See how lights on the ground appear on the reflection below, missing on Pro. As for object details, this is a little more nuanced. We're looking at higher polygon models used on Xbox One X hardware, but mostly for minor objects. Take the vase at the bar for example. Xbox One X renders a fuller, more rounded model next to the angular approach on PS4 Pro. You'll have to excuse the depth of field here, but definitely there is a difference, and it applies in comparison with the base Xbox One of course. Screen space shadows are also a subtle point of enhancement on X. To be clear, typical shadow quality is the same resolution. What we're talking about is the ambient occlusion that fills in shade between objects. Xbox One X's method is similar to PS4 Pro's, leaving a lot of banding of shade around objects. 
it's not especially refined, but what you do get on X hardware is a high grade form of that setting. Near this disc, notice how there's far less flicker to that shade as the camera moves around. It's more temporally stable than PS4 Pro. It's a small enhancement, but it is in place to give a cleaner presentation at 4K. Now that wraps up the notes, but in researching this, I did spot one other curiosity. Textures are actually improved on Xbox One X in spots. It's pretty widespread, though again more obvious on smaller objects like desks or collapsed newspaper stands. The fact is, a better asset never loads on PS4 Pro in the opening scenes, while X pushes a higher quality asset setting and with a better form of anisotropic filtering across the ground. Waiting as long as 5 minutes, I've ruled out delayed texture streaming for this, and it's another small tweak that goes in Xbox One X's favour. A bit of a side note here is the state of performance. Now as you'll remember, The Division is a 30fps game on all consoles, including the base Xbox One here for example and it's hard pressed to drop from that even on enhanced consoles. The logic behind the renderer is simple. If it's being stressed by an effect or too many enemies, it drops the resolution, not the frame rate. Now a standard Xbox One could show screen tear and drop frames in rare spots, like this character creation screen, but in gameplay it's very solid. The same goes for the X machine. Even rendering at 4K, the game only shows a drop to 25 FPS in that one creation tool at the start of play. The readout is miraculously identical to the base model, with the same adaptive V-Sync. For gameplay though, Xbox One X is a near faultless 30 FPS line, with only the occasional screen tear at the top, even in big shootouts. In comparison with PS4 Pro, the two stick to that half refresh with only the occasional blip along the road. Surprisingly, the only difference between the two is that Microsoft's consoles invoke screen tear, whereas PS4 Pro largely avoids it, seemingly sticking to a full V-Sync. What we're left with then is a true 4K rendition on Xbox One X with no more or fewer performance troubles than a base machine. It holds up to Sony's consoles handsomely as well. The only question left hanging is whether the 6 teraflop GPU on X could have been up to the task of pushing a simpler 1080p mode, targeting 60fps. I know it's a regular hypothetical point for a lot of videos focused on X enhanced patches, but we have seen it work to some degree of success in The Witcher 3, where CD Projekt Red at least gave the option. It wasn't faultless in that case, but there is an argument that Division could offer something quite similar, and in the process it could hand in a tangible upgrade that brings it closer to the game's playability on PC. Anyway, that's enough from me. If you did enjoy this analysis, do feel free to like or subscribe. We have a 4K source file to this video on our Patreon at digitalfoundry.net, and also feel free to contact me or the team on Twitter. But until next time, thanks for watching.